What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Roko Bros. You know who he is. This episode was fucking amazing. I thought episode nine was lit. But this anime, time and time again, like, exceeds my standards. And they just create a, a, an amazing story. Like, that was a fucking treat we just watched. The music, the animation, the story, it, it had everything. I, I was... I was super invested in this. Like, it had me... This shit had me by... What is it? Wrap, wrapped around his fucking finger. Because... I'm a huge fan of Park Mujin. He, he might downright be my favorite character. <laughs> Just because, because he's like, look, the boy was holding up the sword with, I, and I knew he could. I knew he could. You just can't. You just can't come out there and just just put hands on his lady like that and expect you just gonna rock away free, easy. Nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Get that shit out of here. Now nah, Park Mujin holding up the God Sword, and then the God comes down and puts the puts his hand on the sword to push it down some more. Park Mujin still holding up, got some backup from one of the six, and these boys out here playing. They they be man, man, like and they like oh, it was it was great. Like they were really going at it, man. It was they were you could tell they were putting their heart and soul into this. Like he's attacking with all these fucking weapons. This shit's just fucking lit. And Park Mujin still there. I gotta give the man his due. Still there, holding up all this ruckus with this one palm, putting everything he can into this. And I'm like, I knew, I knew that you could, and I knew that you would. It's like because you're Park Mujin, you run an establish, you run an established business. <laughs> This man is the CEO. He runs this shit. He runs this shit for real. I pay the salaries. I got salaries to pay. I got folks with me. I got health insurance to pay out of this shit. I got my boys with me. I got people who need these jobs. Nah, man. Nah, nah. And then, then you got Jen out here evolving. It's like, because old boy, yeah, he was teaching them. He was teaching them fair enough. But at the same time, Jim was leveling up. Weakness one conquered. Why borrowing techniques from uh, Mira with the uh, the moonlight swordless style? Hit you with these. You ain't got no counter for that. You use that close combat. I know somebody who good with that. Why? Why? And then it's like, oh, your next weakness, number two or whatever. Han Daiwei. I got you with this black black tortoise hit punch. It's like, I caught you with that. Why? Why? What about your third weakness? I will work all that too and steal your move. I'm still I'm figuring it out. I got a new original. I originally only had one. I got three now. Where we at? It's like, what is it? Blue Dragon Tempest or something like that? Yeah. But now, oh boy. Get him in the lighter. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh boy. Usually, you know, if numbers go up in like the in terms of the Charyuk uh, scouter level, you know, it's pretty strong. His his went to negative one. I was expecting it to go up, like to shoot, like like rock it up, but it went to negative one. That shit was so unexpected. They're just like, nah, like we, like we we don't know what's about to happen next. Isn't negative one like a number that has like a lot of numbers in between it? <laughs> it does. But I mean, like every every number, every number has. But like, but like, yeah, you can, it's like an infinite numbers, infinite amount of numbers between negative one and zero. I think that's. I, I just want to think that that's part of the 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 reasoning for that negative one because it could have been negative one hundred. You know what I'm saying? But negative one, yeah, the fact that it's a negative, but. Just being that knowledge about negative one, but yeah, I mean, you say any number, but specifically, is it specifically negative one? Or? No, I mean any number does have it, but I, I agree with you on the on the significance of going into negative one, because it it, it is it is only they could have chose any number, but they they went to negative one, so it's like even though it's only negative one, there's an infinite amount of numbers between that, so it's just like no, this shit happened, and then now like we're like. 
like a little happen, but a lot happen at the it's, same time. It's like this key that they were talking about. I'm thinking that these tigers have the potential to be keys, but like I think the actual key is this kid. And like anytime you see a nine tailed fox, especially a white nine tailed fox, and like he just comes out of this this aura field and he's transformed into fucking Karama. Um, that is his Sharyuk. He is fused with his Sharyuk. And that shit looks fucking insane. How now? I can go in this assuming that Jin is going to get body for a good portion of the next episode. However, Jin, just like he can't afford to lose, like he said, Jin can't afford to lose. He already like we seen what happened with the copy dude, the dude who who uh, pretended to be his granddad. As like he was on the back leg then. Said, for the next two hours, the next hour, I can't feel any pain. Starts whooping up on this dude, shows up at the competition, and whoops up on him some more. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I haven't seen Jin do any pressure points as far as in this fight yet. So he's not out. And even though there's things that negative one, Jin's got a lot of potential. You've seen that Han was out here releasing parts of his Sharyu and his fight with the lady <clears throat> who also practices martial arts, I believe. But I think that Jin releasing his Sharyuk inherently, because you already see he's evolving during this fight one way or another. It's like, okay, you just leveled up again. I'm looking at this man like Goku. It's like, go ahead, put me, put me up against the corner. I'm not going to just stay down. I have yet to see, I've yet to see Jin just stay down. I've seen, like, just going based off of who his granddad is. He knows what true power is and what it looks like. He knows exactly how strong he is and how much stronger he needs to get. You you can tell him, like, oh, you're weak. Okay, I already understood that. I already understood all those things. All I can do is keep fighting and pressing on and keep doing what I'm doing and, help, and relying on my friends and the people around me. So it's like, you know, for, for me, Jen, he's not out of this thing. It looks bad. It looks real bad. Like, real bad. But I still ain't seen Han give dude with the blue hair them hands. You know what I'm saying? So, unless the dude with the blue hair... The dude with the blue hair has obviously got to know... I would assume the this guy... What this guy is. Based off the amount of fights they've had. I have to assume that. It's like, even though these, these guys from Knox... And Park Mujin, like, when this dude transformed into Karama, this nigga, they felt it's like, it's the key. But I'm like, I'm sure the guy with the blue hair already... And that also leads me to question. His friend's leg was fucking shattered. And this man is the key? The man with the blue hair should not be breathing any longer. I mean, like, knowledge. I, I mean, like, I think that now that we see that this man is the key, I think that we're going to see this. I'm still holding out hope for, like, the slow burn of rage, the slow burn of hatred to take this nigga out. Because it's episode 10, and they're moving pretty fast to episode 13. Episode 13 is clearly going to be some type of cliffhanger that's going to want me to see what the next part of this is. But before that happens, I need to see a change in in um, Jin. Much like if you watch Tower of God, at the end, you seen a... Well, you know. I don't want to spoil, but you know what you've seen. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> at the end. So, like, you know... So, something along those lines. They give you something to look forward to for the next season, which would be Jin... Standing on top, cause I'm not. I'm sure if it started with Jen, I'm we're definitely not gonna finish with Jen on his back, just losing. Because I mean, I mean, hell, Mira. Well, does Mira have to fight next? No, I mean, like Mira would only have to fight next if Jen loses. Who else is all that dude's team? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. And that's the problem right there. So <laughs> <laughs> it was like. I was like, do we do we even care about this third person? Because I think this is the make or break fight here. I I don't. I don't care about the third person because like they gave us Jim versus Elipo in the second fight. We need like I I, I want to see what happens with this. 
I mean, like, I don't want Mira to have to fight. I don't know who she. Yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't know who she. Would and, be it, and it wouldn't matter who she fought. Well, if that dude was the, I mean, but I don't think he can fight again. Okay? No, I don't think he. I don't think he can fight again once he's once he's done. I don't think yeah. He can. So like that next person, yeah, Mira's just fl- cleaning them up. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, yeah, you beat Jen. All right, cool. Sweep, we, 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 we still lost. Keep get out of here. <laughs> I mean, like that's that's what would happen. So, but I mean, now I'm kind of like in fear for this kid because I'm like, I believe this is something they're looking for. Hell, some people might come in and interrupt the match, honestly. But like, well, nigga, you coming with us. <laughs> I mean, that is a point. And then that would disqualify that match or make that match null. And then, like, Mira would have to fight at that point. Because, you know, Knox don't really give a fuck. No, they don't. They rolled up. They rolled up to the tournament heavy. Deep as fuck. Like, like, <laughs> I mean, but, but they got bodied. They did. They got sent back to where they came from. It, I think a lot of them died. I mean, uh, they they looked like they was out for blood. <laughs> Park Legion I mean, in the crew. They, no, they wasn't coming. They wasn't coming to like to talk. All the talking was done. It was just time to throw hands, throw fists, throw weapons. As we seen, like the time for talk was done. No, that dude, that dude, that dude. He who came out with all those weapons, easily one of my favorite characters. Oh no no no. He gave me some Urahara vibes. Like, he did. like just like, oh, no, nah, like, this, this mysterious dude, he got a bowl hat. Like, nah, he, he's about well, that. Like, and when they were introducing the six, he was, like, in the subway, like, I guess he's got, like, this homeless crew or something like this or <laughs> whatever. But <laughs> You know what? And it's like, nah, these things, they, they don't have a home, but they just only be out here strapping. Like, Utre, son of Utre. It's just like, yo, hit me, <laughs> hit me with the last kingdom, bro. Yes. Destiny is old. Yes. yes. No, Destiny that's way. It's it just like, no, if you want reputation, come fuck with your boy. We ain't got riches. All we do is throw hands wherever, whenever, for how long you want it. <laughs> like, like, like that, that's what they was, that's what they was serving up. And that's what they brought. And like, these niggas was playing. They was playing their hearts out. They was. They was. They was really going at it. That that music, that animation, the side by side scenes. When these niggas ain't wasting the fucking. They these niggas don't waste the fucking scene. They really they don't. don't. Waste shit. They really don't. Of Every course. scene is is is, is a, like perfectly placed. And like you get you get sad. Like when it came to the middle of the episode, I was like, damn, we already halfway. And then they hit us. They hit us. Went straight into the action with Jen and Alipo, and then gave us like, you never know when it's gonna end. It's like so much shit happens where the resolution is like, shit, the episode could end right there. <laughs> Call it a day. And anytime the episode ends, you're still like, damn, it ended too soon. Yeah. And that's the best place. It's like, is that it? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wait till next week. I need more. Yeah, nah, man. That shit, that shit was amazing. I, I can't wait till next week. Like, I can't wait till next week. Yeah, I'm legitimately fucking tired. I, I yelled louder than I expected to. I'm sorry if I hurt people's eardrums or whatever. I don't... Look, I wasn't expecting that out of me. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy, and it was great to look at. It was very visually pleasing to my eyes. That will go down as one of the greatest, like, fucking anime things I've seen I mean, almost all year. I now, mean, let's I not mean. sleep on Endeavor going versus the high end though. That shit was fucking. That amazing. was lit. That was lit. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> that was that was and, that and, was fucking and, amazing. And Kimetsu no Yaiba and I mean, there's a few. There's a few up there, all right. There's a few. And Zoro uh, and and Luffy versus Kaido and yeah, no, Sanji mean, and well, you you know what's up, guys. Come on now. There was a lot of there was a lot of dope shit that happened this year, but this ranks right up there with as all far of as like hand hand combat. This. <laughs> this, I mean, this was amazing, and like just the 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 music, the music like just when, stood out. When did Haikyuu, uh the last season come out? Was it this year? It was this year, I think. It was like earlier this year. Like, <laughs> but like, I don't know. I don't know the Haikyuu music mixed in with the emotions. Uh, oh, but no, my nigga the Suki. Haikyuu music. Was my like, nigga Suki. No. <laughs> yes, that Suki emotion. Ah, like no ah, I'm hyped for Haikyuu yes and you know ah, we're gonna be covering it also like go check out Ace Horner for like the Ooh. top 5 anime that's coming out in Ooh. fall and what 
what it's I'm a, most excited about, what we're most excited about. It's a really good list. Like, actually, like, there's some stuff on there I didn't know. Actually, there's a lot of stuff on there I didn't know was coming out. And a lot of those things I've either read, heard about, or, like, watched, like, a previous series of them before. Definitely go check it out. And check out you know, all the other content on the channel as well. Man, we got a lot of shit, man. Keep coming back. Like, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Y'all, thanks for chilling with us. Man. We'll catch y'all the next one, guys. Be easy. Peace.